Between the years of 1625 to 1894, there existed a West African army in the kingdom of Dahomey, present-day Benin. The unique feature of this army was that it was an all-female battalion known as the Dahomey Amazons. The Dahomey Amazons took over parts of the African continent thanks to their fearlessness and immense bravery. As the first all-female army in Africa, they were tasked with defending the royals and entire empire of Dahomey in the 18th and 19th centuries. They had the name Amazons after coming into contact with European enslavers. The Dahomey Amazons referred to themselves as the Mino which means our mothers in the Fong language, or Ahosi, meaning kings' wives. Some oral histories suggest that these Amazon warriors are said to have been initially made up of hunters known as Betu, but later comprised slaves captured from neighboring provinces. There is no exact date on when the Mino became an established army. However, history has it that the third king of Dahomey, King Hugwaja, organized them into an army. King Hogwaja ruled Dahomey from 1645 to 1685. Also, a French enslaver who was visiting the port of Uida in 1725 recalled seeing women in groups defending the port while carrying poles. King Hogwaja took this practical decision because manpower was increasingly scarce due to the activities of the transatlantic enslavement of men in the region. The elevation of the Amazons as official soldiers of Dahomey strengthened a duality that was already embedded in the society through the kingdom's spirituality. In Beninese spirituality, which is known as Voodoo, the creator of the universe is known as Mawusugulisa, a male and female god responsible for the day-to-day -day affairs of mankind. As young as eight years old, girls could be recruited to join the Mino. Other young women were forced into service following a complaint of unacceptable behavior to the king by their fathers or brothers. It is believed that time in the Mino would mold any undesirable or aggressive behavior into a perfect instrument for war. By the 19th century, the Mino numbered between 1,000 and 6,000 women. During their service as warlords, women were forbidden to have a family or even children and many remained virgins. According to Dahomian oral history, majority of the women had so well developed muscularly that it was possible to determine the sex only by the presence of the breast. The training of the Dahomey Amazons included intensive exercise and strict discipline. From dusk to dawn, they were thought to be ruthless, fast, strong, and able to withstand severe pain. They also enjoyed many privileges, such as having a good stock of tobacco, and alcohol. Aside owning about 30 to 40 slaves each, they resided at the king's palace after dark, something no man was ever allowed to do. The Dahomey Amazons fought numerous wars, including invading its neighboring provinces. Captives from these neighboring countries were most often sold into slavery. As European countries began to colonize the African continent, Dahomey was a key location of interest due to its already successive engagement, the transatlantic enslavement of West Africans in the port city of Uida. Dahomey fought two wars against the French. While successfully dismissing them during the first Franco-Dahomian War, they suffered significant losses in the second. In the second Franco-Dahomian War, Ehin, King Benghazin, the last king of the Dahomey kingdom, was overthrown by the French. The Dahomey warriors were defeated, and disbanded as a result. Nawi is the last woman who was believed to have been an original Dahomey Amazon and died in November 1979, aging well over 100 years old. She fought the French in 1892. While no original Dahomey Amazons are alive today, their legacy is continued by their descendants, who continue to tell the stories of their warrior ancestors.